For the 13th round, it consists of groups of six single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch, making two such groups in total. This round ends with a total of 16 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet six single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes our first group. I'll demonstrate another group. Then remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. This completes the round. We'll crochet the 14th round next. The 14th round consists of 16 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases, ending this round with a total of 16 stitches. Let's begin. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet. The second single crochet, the third single crochet. Please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. This completes the round. Next, we crochet the 15th round. The 15th round consists of groups of 7 single crochet stitches followed by a single crochet increase stitch, making two such groups in total. This round ends with a total of 18 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet seven single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes our first group. I'll demonstrate another group. Then remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. This completes the round. Next, let's crochet the 16th round. The 16th round consists of single crochet stitches and single crochet increase stitches, ending this round with a total of 19 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet 8 single crochet stitches.
Follow with a single crochet increase stitch. And then crochet another 9 single crochet stitches. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this completes the 16th round. Now, we'll crochet the 17th and 18th rounds. These rounds consist of crocheting 19 single crochet stitches each, without any increases or decreases, ending each round with a total of 19 stitches. Let's begin. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet, the second single crochet, the third single crochet. Please complete the rest on your own until the end of the 18th round. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. After finishing, leave a long tail for sewing. Cut the yarn end and the trunk part of your crochet is now completed. 